Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity, the White March. Don't we have we have uh, gone on to do as we said and swapped out equipment. We put Kana's turban on uh, Maneha because, well, it's plus one int, even though it's Kana's turban. Well, it looks kind of snazzy on her, right? Uh, we also gave her the accurate accuracy gauntlets. We gave her this cloak. And a nice little ring. I don't believe we changed anything, anybody else's equipment. We may have done, but honestly, I can't remember. We also equipped her with um, Whispers of Yenwood because she's specialized in uh, night, I believe it is. Yeah, night weapon focus. Okay, so let's head into the fishery and see what awaits us. Oh, wait, we can loot this, actually. Speckleback jerky. Okay. Okay. Sounds delicious ready when you are is there is there anyone out here worth talking to oh we can take from here actually uh tin hat tin hats can be difficult to spot in the snowy landscape of the white march featuring an off white coloration tinged by gold brown edges the small mushrooms are often hidden along the bottoms of fallen birches stalwart locals often use them in cooking some bold individuals have used them to make an extremely potent tea but varying reports on the brew claim it tastes vile and causes paralysis, hallucinations, and temporary blindness. Wow. Jesus. Ready when you are. Okay. Um, stalwart fishery. Can we go in? Yeah, there we go. I'm not sure... We don't really have a reason at all to go in here, do we? We don't have any leads in here. Not that I can think of, at least. We should check the barrels for more crazy monks. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Uh, fishery guards and workers. Hmm. Are they gonna put up a fight? Let's quick save just in case. Back to work, everyone. No time for dallying. Oh, jeez. This tattered net appears to have been set aside for mending. A clerk. Let's talk to the clerk. Well, let's check this. These roasting fish provide much of the pungent odor permeating the fishery. Okay. Let's see what the clerk has to say. I wasn't expecting anyone to come by the fishery for a while. I guess that's the proper way to go about it, really. Carry on like it's business as usual. Can I get you anything? Let's see what you got. Of course. A ring of overseeing? Plus 10% ability area of effect. Wow! Uh, okay. An ivory worm figure? Summon two worms once per rest. Wow! What a lot of weird things to have at a fishery. I'm gonna buy this ring. Mine now. <laughs> That's a pretty good ring. Oh, look, we can retrain our characters here? At the fishery? What the hell kind of a fishery is this? Okay. Who would best benefit from this, though? Hmm, I wonder. Um, Maneha actually could use a increased width on her abilities. Aloth is already pretty big. On a, yeah, he's also already got overseeing. I don't know if they'll stack. I'm assuming they don't. Um, Pelagina, eh? Her aura is nice, but it's it's quite big already, right? Let's see. I'm ready. Yeah, it's her. She has quite the large aura. Uh, let's see here. How much does each uh, int increase your area of effect by? Uh, hmm, I have no idea. Five each? Yeah, I don't know. Who has... Who has 11? No one. <laughs> okay. Um... Sh yeah. Maybe we'll put it on Maneha. For her barbarian AoE stuff. Okay. Oh, I didn't read this. The dead eyes of Speckleback, Iron Tooth Pike, and Frost Diver Fish gaze up at you. Oh. Okay. Let's talk to Grinde. The fine thing you reached us when you did. It would have burned the fishery next, mark my words. 
He wraps her hand in a sturdy handshake. And the last thing this lot needs is another excuse to knock off early. He raises his voice at this last remark and glowers around the room. The other fisher folk look studiously away and focus on mending nets, gutting fish, and sorting the day's catch. I can't imagine why they'd be in any hurry. He looks as if he's trying not to breathe. Anyway, excuse the mess. If there's something you need, the clerk can get you sorted. He raises a graying eyebrow at a man sorting various stocks and supplies near the back of the room. Just watch your step if you have a mind to look around. The floors are slick and none too pleasant to fall on. Ugh. I've got questions about the fishery, Been actually. running it four decades now. I reckon I can tell you what you want to know. Uh, what do you do here? Just about everything. I track the day's catches and see that our nets and hooks are in working order. He crosses his arms over his broad chest, throwing his shoulders back. My family's been in charge of the fishery since the early days of Stalwart. I know the best spots to find Frost Diver or an Iron Tooth Pike, and I make sure we don't overfish the Speckleback. Seems like a big operation. It may stink of fish guts, but there's no place more critical to Stalworth's survival. He nods, a blush of pride rising above his beard. Herds come and go, so there's seasons when our catch sustains the village. He glances around the fishery, bustling with activity and warm with the heat of the cook fire. We try telling these folk as much. We go home each day covered to the elbows in fish oil and entrails, reeking of our work. Ugh. His eyes soften with the gaze of a stern but loving father. Aloth forces a smile. Charming. Stalwart's shrinking, but it would disappear if we lost the fishers. I drive him hard, but I can't afford to do otherwise. That's all I wanted to know. Need anything else? Nope. Is that guy voiced by uh, Matthew Mercer as well? Um, Ready when you Edder are. and Aloth? Sounded like him putting on a... <laughs> a bit of a voice there. Alright. So that's, um... That's everybody around town, right? Which means it's time for us to head back to Cadnua and sort out our visitor. And we also have that um, side quest there for um, the Torn Bannerman and Council Halt, I believe. Um, a dear and gentle viewer. Same one as that I referred to last time. <sighs> Feels like oh. it's hardly worth putting the huts back up. <sighs> Better than standing out here shivering. Said that I should do that. So presumably it is part of the White March and not um, just a coincidence that we happen to go there at that time. All right. Got some berries and stuff. Nobody seems to mind that we're taking it. I guess it's just... Audra Ban. White Audra is an extraordinarily rare precious stone found in some formations of Audra. It sometimes appears immediately adjacent to copper conductors used in Gwythin structures. It has a luminescent white color with pink and violet veins, striations running through it. Huh. It's our first time seeing something yeah. like that. And I can't I can't go into the water like uh yeah. Alright. Let's look around here. Are you back up on your feet? Oh, you're not here anymore. I wonder where you could be. Let's look around this direction. Anything? Can't say I see anything. Oh, we can loot this. Oh, right, that's the campfire, of course. Should we just camp here, or...? I guess if we're going to Cadnua, we can just camp out there. Right? No harm in waiting. Let's see if we can't fast travel from this point. Um, let's see. Back to old Cadnua. 24 hours. Let me make sure uh, all this is going. Upgrades. Which one? Finished in two days. Okay. Cadnua. Thank goodness I, I now know how to properly say that, and I, I've seem to, I seem to remember how how to pronounce it, not like many uh, names of people. <laughs> I wonder how long this expansion is. I, I have no idea. It has two parts, so it must be a fair length. Probably at least. Starting to miss my neighbors. Mm. Looks a little healthier than before. 
Yeah? What did that say? Um, security reports that trolls and oozes will attack the stronghold in three days. Oh, that's not good. Not a problem. Gosh, I guess maybe we should rest here? Uh, let's get dexterity. Whoa, you awaken and hear someone stirring, growling. Looking over, you see Maneha, twitching and muttering in her sleep. You can't make out what she's saying, but from her bared teeth and the sheen of sweat on her brow, seems like a very bad dream. Um, let's first try and speak to her. Wake up, Maneha. <laughs> Whoa! She sits bolt upright, roaring and reaching for her weapon. Uh, I don't want to deck her. <laughs> that that would be pretty funny, but uh, she's one of our friends. If she's gonna like attack us, I'll I guess I'll take it. Calm down, you're safe. What? Have I oh. Her gaze darts around, but slowly focuses on you. She grimaces and looks away, wiping her face. Oh, sorry. I must have been dreaming. She lies back down and turns away from you. You can't help but notice how carefully she's avoiding your gaze. What if she's also got a, a watcher thing as well, and she can, like... She's having nightmares. Uh, about what? No, it's nothing. Sorry, I, I shouldn't have bothered you. Uh-huh. She pulls her blanket over her shoulders. You aren't bothering me, but something's clearly bothering you. I'd like to help. Spit it out. We're both awake now. We might as well talk it out. Um... Just tell me what's going on. Yeah, we might as well talk it out. Come on. Come on, Maneha. She's quiet for a long time. It seems like she's already gone back to sleep. But then, she sighs. You told me about your awakening. Did I? Did I tell her about that? Maybe this is like an off-camera thing, where, where this happened during our times traveling on the road. Right? We got her caught up to speed. I, I can buy that. Edder stirs. Maneha waits silently until Edder rolls over and resumes deep, steady breaths. I guess I've had a similar problem. Ah, man, I called it! There's something I remember from a former life. Happened hundreds of years ago, but okay, not I remember quite it, it like it was yesterday. How did you remember it? Happened while I was fighting in Old Valia 20 years ago. My unit was camped out in the palace we'd just taken. The others were roasting the last of the Marchesos pigs in the feast hall. So, I went to the wine cellars to fetch a few bottles. She works her fingers into a knot. I don't know how long she'd been hiding there, but there was this old woman. Must have been one of the servants. Her fingers curl into fists. She had this wild look in her eyes. I approached her and tried to tell her not to be afraid, that she was safe. Maneha holds out her hand, reliving the memory. She screamed and grabbed my arm. She closes her eyes. It felt like someone had hit me in the back of my head. I blacked out for a few minutes. And when I came to, she was gone. I took a Go few on. bottles up with me, feasted with the rest of the troops. But when I went to bunk, I had a dream. She shivers. Only it was more vivid than any dream I've ever had. I tasted the sweat on my lips, felt the jungle air on my skin heard the cries. She stops and swallows, shaking her head. This dream, this was a memory? Um, let's ask about the old woman. What about the I old woman? I asked the other troops. None of them had seen her. Ooh, that's very mysterious. Anyway, I laid off the drink for several days. <laughs> sure. But I kept having the dream. After a few weeks, I, I thought a change of scenery might do me good. Since then... I've been a pirate in the Deadfire, a pilgrim in the White that wins, an adventurer in the Living Lands, and a gift bearer in a shamatal. A shamatal. She gives you a rueful smile. Perception 18. That's why you're really going to the Abbey of the Fallen Moon, to forget it. Ah, man, that's, that is Perception 18, man. I, I completely went over my head. Man. Good job, video game version of me. She nods. There's a pool there, the salt well. It's where gift bearers leave the heaviest burdens. She pauses. It's said that a person can enter it and leave their own memories behind. 
there's a distant, hungry look in her eyes. And you would leave this haunting memory in the salt well. What if you lose more than you intend? I wanted to ask you, so, uh, what if you lose more than you intend? <laughs> At this point, I'd gladly give up all my memories if that's what it takes for peace in this life and the next. Oh, she doesn't seem to have friends or family that she would want to hold on to memories of? And you would leave this haunting memory in the salt well? That's the plan. Um, I wanted to ask you about something. What you got for me? How did you end up in Stalwart? The other gift bearers told me Stalwart was close to the Abbey, so they suggested I ask for directions in town. You mean the other gift bearers don't know where the Abbey is? Like I said, it's one of Andra's most ancient temples, and her followers aren't really known for their records keeping. You're not exactly dressed for the weather. Yeah, she's she's near naked, like a true ass barbarian, huh? Well, Ishamidal's flat as platter, so when the gift bearers told me Stalwart was way up in the mountains, I thought they were exaggerating. She shrugs. Anyway, I hate packing. I see. Always happy to chat. Tell me why you really became a gift bearer. I heard about the order from some missionaries while I was in the Living Lands. I'd heard Andra's doctrine before, but the way they talked about the peace of forgetting, washing the old away with the tide, it sounded good. And gift bearers work, taking to the road, helping people lose their own burdens, that sounded good too. Kept hoping I'd find a way for me to lose my burden along the way. Tell me about yourself. Where to begin? I spent almost ten years as a mercenary in Old Valia. Plenty of work there. I'm surprised she doesn't have a, an accent. She tilts her head up and starts counting items off on her fingers. After that, I fought with pirates in the Deadfire. Or for them, depending on who was paying. That's where I'm from. Did a short stint in the White That Wends, then roamed around the Living Lands, and finally joined the Gift Bearers in Ishamidal. And here I am, she grins. Actually, I was asking about where you came from before your adventures. Yeah, what about her family, or did she have a significant other, or anything like that? Friends? Not much to tell. She waves a hand and looks away quickly. Grew up in Rawatai, left when I was still pretty young, and haven't been back since. Why not? Oh, you know, spent almost 20 years there. Change of scenery is good, right? She gives you a breezy smile, but it looks forced. I see. Better to look forward than back. That's what I always say. Why so much travel? Oh, and because I'm a drifter, I could ask you the same. Hmm, fair, very, fair enough. Guess staying in one place never much suited me. I like that. That's really cool. I love that that little eh, little drifter thing. And you gave up soldiering, piracy, and adventuring to join Andra's gift bearers? She laughs. Still plenty of adventures, just different circumstances. Hmm, fair. I have some que I have questions about some of the lands you visited. Um, I'm always up for war stories. What was Old Valia like? Grand, a skirmish every day, and a feast at another comp or Mar Marchesos. Was that how she pronounced it? Marchesos keep every night. Those were good, carefree days. Tell me about the Deadfire Archipelago. Dangerous. You got pirates and sea monsters. Don't even get me started on the merchants. <laughs> I had a good run there, but I got tired of trying to keep track of who had a knife pointed at my back. What were your experiences in the white that wins? Short. That place is too cold for anything but leaving. I'm curious about the living lands. She laughs. Most folk are. Even after ten years there, feels like I just saw the edges of the place. Huh. You can start the day in a desert and find yourself in the middle of the jungle by nightfall. Everything there is just a little wilder. It goes for the folk as well as the creatures. Part of me misses it still, but you wake up every day, knowing it might be your last. I stayed lucky longer than anyone has a right to expect. 
That's all I wanted to know. That's all for now. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah? It'll be a bit of a challenge to um, get every uh, quest done for our companions, because we've got quite a few companions, honestly. Okay, let's quick save and head in here. Who are we? Who came by wanting to speak to us? I can't even remember at this point. But we have a few orders of business to attend to here. Let's first talk to a fellow of Saint Wadewin. Was that him? Or Lord Lord Sidrock? Oh, I think it's Lord because look, they have um a slightly green hue. And, yeah, just a slightly green hue to their uh, text. Gosh, if you're colorblind, good luck seeing that. Alright. Lord Seedrock. Ah! It's good you're here. I simply must speak with you, my lord. Very well. Let's hear it. You call for your allies and stride towards your throne. Oh. Oh, look at this! Listen to how quiet the music is. Earlier it was it was a lot louder. I, I didn't touch it at all. It's really weird, the audio in this. Anyways, as I'm sure you are well aware, wealth has a way of birthing enemies. My fortress is beset by thieves. I'm sure one of the lesser nobles is after my treasury. This has the stink of jealousy upon it. It will be weeks before I can secure my holdings, and by then, it will be too late. And I haven't the... Connections to hire mercenaries on short notice. And so I turn to you, my lord. Is there anything you can do? I'll see that these jealous rivals are dealt with. I cannot help you with this at the moment. Sure, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Marvelous! May I, uh, inquire as to your intentions? I'll have my missive sent to every noble in my lands. I'm sure Aloth can handle them, discreetly. Aloth? Why would I send Aloth? Uh... I don't really want to send Aloth. I'm not gonna send Aloth. Go missives. Letters, my lord? Do you think that's sufficient? Um... They'll heed my warning or be destroyed. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. I'm sure these nobles will see reason. Nod, probably. On second thought, probably not. Perhaps not. Um, yeah, they probably won't be, but I really need Aloth. Don't I? Hmm. On second thought, perhaps not. Let's see if we can... Gosh, I guess we'll send Aloth. Okay, Aloth. We'll be busy for seven days. Thank you, my lord. It is an enormous relief to have this burden off my shoulders. Bless you. Okay. Shit. Aloth is so important to us, though. Okay. Let's see. What other business do we have? Um. Right, we need to swap out our party. Uh, let's see here. How exactly do we do that in this place? I don't even remember. General Goods Merchant? Well, let's check our... Oh my god, look at all of this! What, uh, what is this? Plus 5 all defenses, plus 30 max, plus 3 damage reduction. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Perhaps we should give this to... Durance? Not really sure. Edder would be a good choice as well, I suppose. Hmm. 
Well, the healing received is really nice. And scales well with his um, passive. I'm not sure who to give this one to. She loses out on dexterity, but gains more defensive stuff. Mm, if only she could equip a headpiece. Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess we'll just give it to Durance. <laughs> Looks a little funky, but sure. Okay. Um, let's see. How do we um how do we access our, our friends? Party? No. Hmm. I have no idea how we do that from here. Uh, options, no. Stronghold? There we are, party management. Okay, busy. Hmm. I guess let's try out the new guy. This is a good opportunity to try him out, I guess. Except... Gosh, he sure does have a... A lot to do. Okay. Like before, we will, um... We'll whoosh away. All right, we're back. We uh, kitted out Zawa, and uh, wow, he's he's got a, some interesting mechanics. I'm I'm not sure I fully understand. Uh, he uses wounds. Somehow he like gets hurt or hurts himself in combat uh, to be able to use his abilities. Either way, I I chose to uh, this I chose this ability that lets him get uh, wounds quicker. Um, weapon focus for a peasant. That way he's better being unarmed. Higher accuracy. Lightning strikes, he'll, um, he'll sometimes, when he can use his wounds up to attack faster and do shock damage when he's doing that, which seems really useful. Um, I also got one to where he does something similar with fire damage. Uh, yeah, plus 5% burn damage per wound. So that seems pretty good. I don't know, he's kind of a passive build that I've gone with. To where he'll passively ramp up damage over time, which seems nice, I think. And uh, he also has this ability where he does like a kick, requires one wound. And swift strikes, right, yeah, we, we went over that. Rooting pain, right, whenever he gains a wound, he'll just like do an AoE, which is pretty nice. Like I said, he, he's doing passively, he's passively dealing damage. I don't know. Monks seem like a char character class with a lot of potential, but I don't yeah. know. I tried to consult the encyclopedia or a cyclopedia to see um, if it had any details on monks, but uh, I didn't see any. Zawa is ready. Just say the word. I don't intend on him being a permanent party member, but uh, for now, he'll do. He'll do the job. Okay. Let's see. What else do we need to do here? Right. We have an attack impending, don't we? This is the perfect opportunity to try and resolve this. So let's quick save. And... Let's see here. Maybe we should hire someone. Hmm. Blooded thug. Yeah, let's hire a thug. <laughs> sure. And then let's fight. Manual. And then after this, we will go check out the wherever the Torn Bannermen are. We'll have to um, check out that quest. Whoa! Jesus Christ! Flurry of action. Let's try and amp up the, the sound a little bit for the music. I mean, it's at 45. Yeah, I don't know. The music seems really... Like, the, the audio balancing seems odd in this game. Oh, let's um let's change his AI ever so slightly. Defensive um uses it at the first opportunity. Okay. Well, I'm not really interested in any of those cuz I'm not that familiar with him in his class. Okay. 
Let's uh, begin with this black ooze here. Okay. So these are his wounds here. Okay. I need to frenzy her. There she is, she's going frenzy mode. Get in there! Okay. Uh, we'll have him actually come over here and fight this person. Okay. And actually see if he can't pull that troll over. Wow, we're really giving it to him, huh? Is this like noxious shit on the ground? Um it could be. Or it could be stuff from our people, you know. Ready when you are. Alright, swap weapons for me. Shoot him again. Okay, who is he fighting? Oh, he's knocked on his ass. Okay. Um, she is in crazy mode. She's going nuts. Tell me. Okay, great. Oh, she killed him. Nice. Um, okay, we'll have everyone come on over here and fight this thing. And he will fight. Well, he'll, I guess he'll finish this thing off. There we are. Okay. Activate this. Does it use up a wound? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, Durance, you should probably move over this way. Okay, and then I need to swap my weapon back. Uh oh, look out. Look out, Durance. Hey. Um, Durance, you need some help, big time. Okay, you, um, come over here and fight this guy. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, Durance heal up everyone. Halajina. We'll pull off some of that. Wow. I didn't even know they were made of me. <laughs> okay. Whew. We did it. I wonder how many people we lost. I have no idea. Yeah? Ugh. Okay. Let's check. Oh, we lost three people. Wow. Okay. Um, let's actually, uh, change around the sound. Uh, the effects are, just got really loud for some reason, you know? Like, you notice, right? It's pretty weird, huh? Ready when you are. Okay. So that went pretty well, huh? We can rest again here. And we will go and head off to this quest, the Torn Bannerman, right? It's a side quest. Let's see. Russetwood? No. Hunt down the wolf, track down the slave hunter, um, a good haul, a cure for Rayfold, Cragholt Manor, that's the one, right? Yep, with the Torn Bannerman. A feared collection of mercenaries. Okay. Ready when you are. So let's investigate that. Should we hire more people for uh, this place again? 
Maybe we should. Let's get a warden. And you. You. Uh, you? Oh, I can't get any more. Okay. That's fine. Ready when you are. Yeah, so we'll head out there. There's, um... Things going on with console Halt. Let's actually reread that um, quest. That way we get a brief refresher. Because I only... Mm. Looks a little healthier than before. I only remember the uh, general gist of what's going on. Uh, the steward of K Kadnua has informed me of a recent conflict on a remote bluff in the Deerwood. The Torn Bannerman, a feared collection of mercenaries, have besieged the manor of a local legend, the Archmage Consulhalt. The conflict is over a mysterious magical artifact. The steward believes I should investigate the problem to ensure safety of Kadnua. Right. Oh, Aloth wanted to go there, didn't he? Shazbot. Hmm. How many more days do you have, Aloth? Mm, six days, 14 hours, huh? Should we just wait and get Aloth out of there ASAP? I'm not sure. I feel like we perhaps should. Yeah. You know what? Let's do that. Let's quick save in case this is a huge mistake. And we're just going to... Um, pass by time because I want Aloth to be there because Aloth seemed pretty interested in meeting this dude right okay when next we return it will be time for Aloth to come back wow okay we are back six days have passed uh, in game time I did it by just traveling back and forth between uh, Cadnua and Stalwart and a few things happened at the stronghold let's uh, take a look here I completed, um, the towers completed, of course. It was hireling payday. They took their wages. Training grounds, I started them because they give more security. Um, a distant relative of Afer arrived at the stronghold requesting they be freed in exchange for 700 uh, gold or CP. And I was like, well, no. <laughs> they, it, it wasn't that much money. So I was like, nah, no thanks. Uh, anyways, uh, they left. I finished the strong the uh, training grounds. Then I was like, all right, let's get the library going. It's pretty cheap. Uh, nothing new to report. Library got finished. And we started up construction on... What was it here? Oh, gosh. Did we not... We didn't choose anything. Okay. Well, son of a gun. We missed out on a day's worth of construction. Let's get this forum going. Okay. Um, and a supplicant came by uh, from Defiance Bay. They were looking for either an escort or 500 CP. And I was like, okay, we'll just send Sagani with them. Because we could choose, actually, who we wanted to send. We didn't have to pick um, one person. And then it was, it was payday again. Uh, and here it says, With a few well-placed hexes and a final show of arcane power... Aloth was able to convince Lord Cedrock's rivals to seek wealth elsewhere. Alright, so now Aloth should be back with us. Uh, right? So let's check here. Very Dismiss well. our monk friend and get Aloth back. Accept. Cool, there he is. Good old Aloth. Uh, let's put him up back here. How may I help? And... Good, that ought to do it, right? Oh, no, wait. Let's double check our formation. Yep, we definitely do not want Alice to be first in. And we want Durance right there. There we go. Okay, great. And that's really all that happened. We lost money for doing that, but we've, we've got enough money to where we can keep going on. So what we will do is go to Cragholt Bluffs is the place, right? Let's double check. Yep, Cragholt. Okay, let's find out what's going on over there with this siege that's been going on for like six days. Pretend like the, you know, the time is weird. Time is weird in this game. All right, 12 hours. Wow, holy cow. They've got, um, what are these things called? Oh my gosh. 
They're not ballista. They're not catapults. They are... I used to know what they were called. They were uh, present in some game that I, I played a whole lot. Trebuchets! Security reports that skeletons will attack the stronghold in five days. Well, that's not good. Ready when you are. Stop there. Oh. Where do you think you're going? One of the guards takes a step forward. She looks you up and down with a sneer. This area is under the control of the Torn Bannerman. Anyone else wanders in, they're not leaving again. What? Uh, what is going on here? For starters, I've got orders to put a sword through your gut if you don't turn around and run back home. Really? Uh, let me pass. I'm the Lord of Cadnua. Cadnua is a fine keep. You ought to get on back, Lordling, and wait until we pay you a visit. What a sack of shit. All right, eat a butt. We'll see about that. We've got trouble over here. You had your oh, accidentally unpaused. Oh, great! Now the music is on full blast, right? <laughs> All right, let's head back down. Music, go back down to baseline forty-five. Um, effects. Eh, there you go. Okay, here we are. Okay. Um. Now, let's see. Edder, go and tango with this person. Pelagina, also do that, please. Um, yeah, may as well burn them down. Why not? If, it, if there's just two of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I didn't realize we were fighting Superman. What? <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Uh. Activate your frenzy. Wow, Aloth got messed up there. Let's gun this bastard down. Oh my god. Jesus, Aloth, what the hell? You're getting messed up, my friend. Um, let's see what else we can do here. Let's try and swap weapons and shoot him again. Nice. Jeez, poor Aloth. Take it easy. Jesus, Aloth is really getting messed up. Withdraw him. Okay. Pelagina... Do your flaming magic shit. Hmm. Wow, everyone is just, like, running around willy-nilly. Okay, let's get some, uh, healing going on here. Now that we're all clumped up like this, I guess. Okay, let's, uh, do a, do a yell. Wow, everyone is really taking it, huh? Like, big style. Okay. Um, let's all try and burn down this one that's on... on him right there. Hmm. Jesus Christ, Pelagina. Uh, let's get on some, some big heels now. Because, wow. We're pretty low. Oh my god, Durance is down and out. That's fine though, we can, uh, we can manage. Do a yell. Jesus. Wow, these dudes are really owning it up, huh? Okay. Pelagina. We are going to have a big problem here. Let's see. Hmm. Jesus. She is just going... She is dropping like crazy. Jesus. 
just this opening flurry of dudes are really challenging. It's just two of them. We may have to replan this because we didn't even get a... Uh... Yeah, absolutely we're going to have to. I didn't anticipate this berserker to just jump into our backline. What the crap? All right. Um, let's see if we can't load. Let's see. Where were we? Cragholt Bluffs. Sure. Autosave. Because ideally we would have um, Aloth doing CC, but uh, mm -hmm. couldn't account for someone just jumping like that, doing a leap. So I guess this is uh, his manor. It's, it looks like it, it isn't even complete in its construction, but hey, who am I to judge? I'll go on ahead. Okay, let's get everyone in positions here. There we are. Hey, now that we're repositioned, send Stop an header. Where do you think you're going? Yep. This area is under the control yada yada. Of the What's going on? Let me pass. Attack. We've got trouble of and then Edder, you keep going in deeper. You've had your, your chance. Listen, now now the music is really low. That is so weird, isn't it? Okay. Um, now that everyone else is ready, let's go for this berserker, right? <laughs> Frenzy yourself. And I will do a blinding attack. And swap weapons. And do some of this. Uh, Polygina, where are you? Oh, weird. You aren't uh, choosing to continue the attack? Okay. Um, Edder, actually yoink this person a bit if you can. Ooh, that's not good. You're going after uh, these dudes, huh? Okay. Let's do some stunning shit. Paralyze them. Okay, and here we are. Um, let me get out of here, because Jesus. Don't want to be part of that. Um, he is sickened, right, from uh, Alas weird shit? Yeah. Okay. Um, Durant's back up a bit over this way. And heal yourself up. More of this in here. Uh, okay. This seems good and fine. And Edder, try and do a knockdown. Okay. And then fire off one of those. Okay, we gotta swap weapons. Gosh, you are really just after our melee, aren't you? Okay, how much endurance is she missing? Not too much. She can survive a bit longer. Alright, we'll, we'll use this. Heal up our backline a little bit. Okay, Aloth, what's going on here, man? Let's see if we can't... Hmm, we may need to use that later. So I'm not too keen on using it just yet. Um, let's try and have him... Uh, hmm, what should Aloth do here? Like, I guess, use this, right? It's endurance, which isn't too bad. We can move everyone over this direction. Oh, great. We got engaged, which wasn't actually too bad. Okay. And then I'm here, ready to shoot again. Endurance yeah, is actually taking it like a champ. Look at him go. Okay. And let's actually get a heal out. 
Hmm. What kind of a heal should... Yeah, let's have him use a bowling ball attack. That's pretty good. Uh, Palagina, heal yourself. I don't know what's causing her to take damage here. Uh, elusive quarry? No? Oh my gosh, Durance, uh, you're getting in trouble here. Withdraw yourself? Okay, and then now Aloth is in trouble. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see, what can we do to help out Aloth here? We could try and, hmm, do another one of these. She is trying to yoink someone over, in fact. Addendum added, Siege of uh, Craghold. Okay. Um, members of the Torn Bannermen did not appreciate my presence near their camp. I was forced to defend myself from their aggression. Right. Okay. Everyone, please get on this and save Alos freaking life. <laughs> uh, Alos should be able to do a self-heal, though, with, uh, yeah, with this. Okay. Good. Good. Scare him a bit. Do a scary yell. Okay. I will actually... Oh gosh, I was engaged. Did not even see the little line. Okay, uh, Aloth, maybe, maybe do another heal on everyone here. Hmm. Can Aloth actually disengage from this, uh, lady? Hmm, I think he has the health to be able to do it. Let's try. Yeah. Yeah, there we are. Okay, yeah. We're all good now. Oh, did she get interrupted? Is that why she did it twice in a row like that? Jeez. Really having trouble hitting them, huh? Okay. Hmm. Let us see if we can't withdraw her then. Because she is getting really low. Hi? Okay, now Edder is in combat, which is good. Edder can take hits like nobody. Well, now it's just a waiting game, I guess. I meant to do. Hmm, what are their stats? I don't know, but it's pretty good then that we have enough melee here to trigger flanking, like surrounding them like this. Jesus, this mercenary soldier is not going down easy. That's not very helpful. Interesting that she chooses to fight Edder, or fight, uh, Manaha. Maneha. Jeez, man. I meant to do that. There we go, finally. Okay. Not a problem. Look, and now the music is back at full strength, huh? <laughs> what the heck? Wow, an exceptional pike. Okay. Does Palagina use pikes? Okay. Let's check this out. Um, Palagina, what a... Your weapon-focused soldier. She does. Okay. 
But is it better than her current one? Her, uh, yeah, she has justice. Which is pretty good. Let's see. 19 to 27, jeez. And it has pretty decent range. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, uh... Tempted to say just have her use this exceptional pike. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to say. Wow, it's pretty big, huh? <laughs> okay. Goodness. Well, that Ready was a pretty tough are. encounter, nice huh? And quiet. Bubbles rise from the depths of a murky, sludgy stew. The few bones in the pot have been picked clean. And they float amidst swirling globules of grease. Okay, I guess when we come back, we will investigate the rest of this camp and their siege on Consul Hout's place. Uh, worst case scenario, we just use up some camping supplies, which isn't too bad. Like I said, back at Stalwart, we've got more hanging out there. We've also got an alert here? Oh, right, the, uh, the skeletal dudes are coming. That's, that's no big deal at all. <laughs> all right. When next we come back, we'll investigate the rest of Cragholt Bluffs and find out why these people are so pissed and keep them from coming after us. Peace! Peace!